So to review from yesterday, there's three options. You can make piles, you can do it in exponential form, or you can do it in rad form. I'll try to show all three, but not go too crazy here, okay? So let's start with number two. One way, it says to go to exponential form actually, so I have to follow it, is to go 16x to the fourth to the one fourth. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So I'm really focused on that four. I got a four here, so I'm happy, so I need that to be a four. So if I go two to the fourth, x to the fourth, to the one fourth, then I can cancel like this. It's like based on the distributive property, two to the first. And I can distribute like this, based on the distributive property, x to the first. So I get two x, and then it's even, so it's plus or minus. If I didn't say that you had to do it a certain way, and I just said, hey, get the answer, you're looking for piles of four. One, two, three, four, you get a two from that. One, two, three, four, you get an x from that. Nothing's left over, even root, plus or minus. I don't care how you get there unless I specifically say exponential form. Okay, this one's a little bit different. So I noticed they both have a cube root. So remember when we did exponents and whenever you're multiplying, it means you're adding. So I'm going to add these little exponents here and I end up with the cube root of x to the ninth. They're asking me to put it in exponential form, so I will do that. Then I can go like this and I get x cubed. It's an odd root, so I'm done. Another way I want you to see it is if I was to put it in rad form, just to kind of throw it out there to get you used to the forms, this three and this three cancel, so you're left with x cubed. If I was to do my piles, I'm looking for piles of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I get an x from here, an x from here, an x from here, and that makes x cubed. All right, next one, 81, x to the 13th to the 1 fourth. Now, this is definitely one where if I gave it to you, I wouldn't say you had to put it in exponential form, but a lot of you can see that's 3 to the 4th. The problem is, if we do this, 13 doesn't go into 4, so let me get to that in a second. So, that goes away. I'm left with 3 to the 1st, which is 3, okay? And then I come over here, and 13 can't divide 4. So in that case, I wouldn't make you do it in exponential form, but if you were to show it, x to the 13th is like x to the 12th x, right? Because when you're multiplying, you're adding to the 1 fourth. So when you distribute that, that's x cubed, and when you distribute that, that's x to the 1 fourth, which is really the fourth root of x, x cubed. Or leave it like this. I don't care. If you were going to do this problem, so let me, sorry, the answer is 3x cubed, x to the 1 fourth. Or I will accept 3x cubed, fourth root of x. I'll accept either one. Okay, no, oh, plus or minus, plus or minus. Okay, if you were to do your piles, I think the piles are easier to visually see. I'm looking for piles of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's a 3 from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I get an x from here, an x from here, and an x from here. That's 3x cubed. And I had that x left over in the fourth root, or to the 1 fourth, plus or minus. Okay? Next problem here. When we're dealing with division, this is the same thing as the cube root of x cubed over the cube root of 64. If I was to change that to exponential form, that would be x cubed to the one third, and four cubed to the one third, bye bye, bye bye, x to the first over four to the first is x over four. It's an odd root, so you're done. This one I actually didn't give you very much space, so I'm gonna do it on a separate piece of paper because this one's more difficult. Now from the beginning, this is very much like the previous problem, x to the eighth, fourth root, three, fourth root. And then you change it to exponential form, x to the eighth to the one fourth, and then three to the one fourth. Okay. Great, x squared. The problem is that here nothing goes away. So I'm still left with a radical in the denominator or a fraction, which is a radical in the denominator. 
Remember when I taught you something where you had 1 over rad 2 and you're like, hey, you have to multiply it by itself to get rid of the denominator. Let me explain why. That's the square root, so we needed piles of 2 to give me the 2. This one, if I just multiply 1, 3, I'll only have a pile of 2, but I need a pile of 4. So I not only need 1, I need 2, I need 3. Then I get my pile of 4. Let me zoom that out a little bit. And I end up with a 3 in the denominator. But remember what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And I'm not going to write that out because that's ugly, but it's really the 4th root cubed. So that's x squared, 4th root cubed. Or I will accept x squared 3 to the 3 fourths. Now some of you go, well, as long as I get this one, I'm good. But you, oh, stinker, sorry. But you have to understand that you're going to get problems like this that you're going to have to change to this. So it is important, plus or minus, for you to make sure you can interchange between the two. All right, let's go down here. All they want you to do is write it using exponents. So that's 7 cubed to the 1 fourth, which is 7 to the 3 fourths. And 7 is prime, so I can't simplify. This is 11 to the 6. Remember, the root means it's going to be a fraction. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. 11 squared is 121. If I'm going too fast, pause it for a second. All right? 81 is the same thing as 81 cubed to the 1 fourth. Now, 81 is the same thing as 3 to the 4th cubed. That's a lot to the 1 fourth. So by, by, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 cubed, sorry, 27. Plus or minus, and plus or minus, okay? Next one, rewrite it using exponents. 9 goes into 3 3 times. 10 cubed is a 1 with 1, 2, 3 zeros, no plus or minus. Turn the page. This time they want us to write it in rad form. So in rad form, the 3 is your root 8 squared. Now they want you to simplify if you can. So I can't do that with that, but what I can do is go 2 cubed squared cube root. And now this 3 and that 3 are gone, and that 3 was with the radical. So you're left with 2 squared which is 4. Cube root, no plus or minus. Rewrite it in rad form. Cube root, negative 125, parentheses squared. Negative 125 is negative 5 cubed squared cube root. What happens to this 3 and this 3? They cancel, and that's with the root, so you're left with negative 5 squared which is 25. Okay, this one, rewrite it. This one's a little bit easier than the other ones, sorry. 64 is the same thing as 4 cubed, cube root. These cancel along with the root. 4, no plus or minus, it's an odd root. Next one, 4 to the fifth, square root. 4 is the same thing as 2 squared to the fifth. This 2 and this 2, but by, along with the root, 2 to the 5th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32, even root, plus or minus. Next one. All right, so when I'm multiplying, it really means that I add. So I'm going to go 1 half plus 3 halves. And I need you to show this work because I'm letting you use a calculator, but you need to show that you're not. So these two added to that which is 12 squared, which is 144, plus or minus, because it's an even root. Next one, when you're dividing, it means you subtract. So I'm going to go 2 thirds minus 1 third is 1 third. So it's really 1 25th to the 1 third. I like keeping things in exponential form. I think it's easier for me. I want to get rid of that. Bye-bye. 
no even roots. Okay, this is just going over what we've done previously, which is when you have parentheses, a power, you multiply. So this 3 and this 3 are gone. 8 squared, 64. This is saying when you have a fraction, you distribute, distribute. So that's 16 to the 1 fourth over 81 to the 1 fourth, but I don't like fractions. So 2 to the 4th to the 1 fourth, 3 to the 4th, oops, to the 1 fourth, bye bye, bye bye. 2 to the 1st over 3 to the 1st is 2 thirds, even root, plus or minus. All right, let's use what we know. And by the way, you shouldn't be copying this. You should be trying it like we do in class and then seeing how you do. All right, I add 2, thir two fifths plus, wait, 3 fifths plus 2 fifths is 5 fifths, which is 1, 25th to the first power, 25. This one's a little bit more difficult. 1 third minus 2 thirds is negative 1 third. So it's 8 to the negative 1 third, hold on, is the same as 2 cubed to the negative 1 third, but by 2 to the negative 1. You can't have a negative exponent. Where do you move it? Downstairs, it turns positive, simplify, done. You could have also done this from the beginning, 1 over 8 to the 1 third, then 1 over 2 cubed to the 1 third, bye bye, there's your 1 half. Okay, a couple more. Multiplying means we add, is that a 3? That's a 3. So 3 eighths plus 1 eighth is 4 eighths, which is 1 half. 36 to the 1 half is the same thing as 6 squared to the 1 half, which is 6, even root, plus or minus. This is the same thing as negative 3 cubed, x to the 6 to the 1 cubed, or 1 third, I mean, wait, ah, I went too fast. So this is negative 3 cubed to the 1 third. Now, bye bye bye-bye. This is negative 3 to the first, and this is x squared. Negative 3 to the first is negative 3x squared. You can't have a plus or a minus. There's already a minus. This is the same thing as 1 distribute to the 1 fifth. Oh, I should say this, which is 1 to the fifth to the 1 fifth, because 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And this is the same as 3 to the fifth to the 1 fifth that by 1 to the first, 1. That by 3 to the first, 3, add root, no plus or minus. Last one. I think that says negative, so let's play that game. 4 cubed to the negative 1 third, but by 4 to the negative 1. Can't have a negative on top. Move it to the bottom, add root, done. You could have, if you wanted to, at this step, moved it down here right away to make it positive, then made that 4 cubed to the 1 third, but by, there's your 1 over 4, okay? I want to make sure you're clear on what the homework's going to be. So here's the answers for the homework. So this one can totally be done now. Hopefully, if you weren't here, you got someone to take a picture of what we did in class. And then this is just changing from rad form to exponential form. And then this is review. I will put, I don't think this day three is in there, so I will put that in Google Classroom. Um, if not today, then this weekend. This is a review of everything. It's a lot, I know. And then this one, I think you can just do the top. We'll do the bottom on Monday. Unless you think you can handle it, okay? All right, have a good weekend.